Hello and welcome to Later Tonight, starring me, Michael. My camera operator is out of town this uh, evening, but fortunately I was able to set the microwave up as a camera, and so I've got everything covered. <clears throat> March Madness bounces back this week as college basketball teams across the country try to figure out who stole their ball. I've never been so mad, said one player. Historians discovered today that Marie Antoinette's most famous phrase was actually, let them eat pie, not cake. She had just ordered a sky-high Boston cream pie from Marie Callender's and was really excited about the possibilities. Immediately after opening the box and discovering the true height of the pie, she said, well, I'm as disappointed as anyone. For parents who don't want to take their kids to Disney's Beauty and the Beast this weekend because of that 20-minute scene where Gaston and the Beast make out, you may want to take the little ones to the Belko experiment instead. The film was written by James Gunn, who's famous from being in a joke we told earlier this week, and it's about a group of white-collar Americans who uh, are working in an office building a high-rise in Columbia, and it's taken over by bad guys, and they're forced to kill each other or be killed. Well, Christmas just passed, um, so Christmas season is over, but it's also coming. Christmas season's always on its way. And uh, one thing that I think of uh, at Christmas time and, and before it as well uh, is the song Pat a Pan. I love that. It's one of the best Christmas songs, Pat a Pan. I think lots of people like it. And uh, even though so many people like it, few people know how you're actually supposed to pat on a pan. Uh, they, don't have, they don't have that expertise. So to help you out, help you get ready for Christmas, I want to teach you all how to pat on a pan. Uh, what you'll need is a pan. Here's a pan. And, uh, and I'll teach you how to pat on it. What you want to do is you want to turn it around this way. This, this isn't how you want to hold it if you're cooking with it, but if you're patting it, this is perfect. Then you want to get your hand in patting position. And for patting a pan, you want three fingers. Three. And not four, not two, but three. And then when you got them ready, you pat. A quick little strike. Make sure all of your three fingers hit the pan for the full, uh, the full effect. And then, you know, you just pat it however you want to pat it. And if you do it just like this, you'll be patting the pan. Oh, it sounds like jingle bells to my ears. Now you'll be ready for Christmas when it comes. Well, that's all for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow.